Hello everybody, my name is Sabna Rosnick and you have found the channel here on YouTube where I do what I call mini readings, which is usually just one poem. Um, sometimes my work if I'm pr promoting a book, sometimes somebody else's. That's one of the major reasons why I have never monetized this channel, so that I could share the work of others, just share the poise as you are. I have gotten quite the library here on this channel, so feel free to go back. I'm pretty sure there's a close to 100 videos on here now, going back to 2011. Um, there may even be more than 100 now. Who knows? I stopped counting. Um, I haven't made a video here for this channel in quite a while and I've gotten real bad about filming videos and not posting them for months. Um, sorry about that. So I don't know when I'm going to post this either. Hopefully I'll get better with that. I have been going through some very serious health issues. Doctors cannot get, the, get it diagnosed and um, as a result of that, I've also been scaling back on my work, <laughs> like, you know, uh, especially um, editing duties. Um, the kind of work where you're running down deadlines and not getting proper sleep because the doctors, you know, they can't make up their minds what the problem is, but they, they're pretty sure that the kind of schedules and the kind of work that interferes with my sleeping schedule is probably contributing to the problem. <laughs> so um, I've been scaling back on my work and I'm hoping that that will give me more time and energy to occasionally make these videos and to get them up um, more regularly or at least to put them up closer to when I actually film them. <laughs> I thank you guys for being patient with me on that. I'm totally into world poetry, so you will often find poetry from all over the world on this channel. I read the, sorry for that, that is the fan in my desktop tower. Absolutely necessary for it to run though, or the desktop will not work. Uh, sorry for the background noise, and occasionally my dehumidifier will kick on, that's also noisy can't cut out the background noise though because I had to switch video editors um, and that's changed my ability to do things like that. Anyway, um, world poetry. So a lot of times you'll come across, I read the English versions of course because that's the language I'm most familiar with and I'm most comfortable reading in. It's my mother tongue, so to speak. Um, I, I have learned other languages, but, and I've, I'm always pushing the boundary on learning other languages. I love languages, right? But uh, English is the one I'm most rooted in. Um, I'm Appalachian, you know, that's, so, uh, of course I code switch when I do these videos though. <laughs> so you don't really hear a lot of my Appalachian accent, I hope. I try to make myself as clear as possible on these videos for the sake of the captioning for the hearing impaired <laughs> because if I get too Appalachian on here the, the uh, closed captioning goes nuts and then people are like say well and that's just not fair to I'm all for you know accessibility of course because I'm disabled myself but anyway I got all these world these poems from all over the world on here if you find a poem you like that I'm reading the English version and you discover that you are able to read it in its original language I encourage you to do that because of course poetry and translation is going to be completely different than the original poem in its original language just because of the mechanics of translating a poem from one language to another um, very complicated process so um, I encourage you to read both if you are if it you know if, if you're able to do that by all means put them next to each other enjoy them both but I hope that this this channel serves as an introduction to poems that you have never come across before. Today I decided to go a little classic. Um, I have been reading here lately contemporary poets that I come across in my personal reading. Um, but today I decided to go classic with a Gerald Stern poem because he recently passed away. 
um, I, I, well, recently in terms of when I'm recording this, which is November 4th, 2022, when I post it, who knows? I hope I'll be doing better with that. I decided to, to do a Gerald Stern poem for our mini reading today. I'm going to read Box of Cigars, and I found this on the PoetryFoundation.org website. So you can go there and read it if you would like. I love that website. Of course, it's connected to uh, Poetry Magazine out of Chicago. The Poetry Foundation itself is in Chicago, one of the major institutions for poetry in the United States and in the world. So it's a it's a very important website where you can read a lot of the most important poets of the 20th and now the 21st century. And so when I thought, I want to read a Gerald Stern poem because he just passed, um, that was one of the first places I thought of. And also, of course, another major, major um, website for poetry around the world, but also in America, would be the Ameri uh, the Academy of American Poets, which is poets.org, is a major resource also. And then... Um, if I can, can remember, it's in there. I just have trouble remembering anymore. It started out with just me having trouble with names and nouns, and that now it's moving into having trouble remembering lyrics, which I find especially troubling, especially whenever I have trouble remembering lyrics to poems that I, uh, lyrics to songs that I have been singing my entire life since I was born. Uh, then it's like, uh, that's a little bit troubling. I'm a bit young to be doing that. hope I'm not getting dementia or something. Um, what's the name of that website? Poetry International. Where they have, that's where I find a lot of my world poetry. Because they'll have it in its original language and then they'll have an English translation where you can read it. And I remember back when I first discovered the website in the early 2000s. Um, and it's since moved websites and everything since then. Um, I made this goal that I was going to read every poem on it. But here it is, 2022, and I haven't reached that goal yet because it's just impossible. There's so much there, some Poetry International Web or something like that. Um, also, a major, major resource for poetry. If you're interested, it, you know, there's some interesting links for you to know about. Okay, so this is Box of Cigars by Gerald Stern. I tried one or two, but they were stale and broke like sticks or crumbled when I rolled them, and lighting a match was useless, nor could I put them back in the refrigerator. It was too late for that. Even licking them filled my mouth with ground-up outer leaf, product of Lancaster or Eastern Virginia. So schooled I am with cigars, it comes in the blood and I threw handfuls of them into the street from three floors up, and to my horror, sitting on my stoop were four or five street people who ran to catch them as if they were suddenly rich, and I apologized for that. No one should be degraded that way. My hands were crazy, and I ran down to explain, but they were smoking already, nor did I have anything to give them since we were living, since we were living on beans ourselves. I sat and smoked too, and once in a while we looked up at the open window and one of us spit into his empty can. We were visionaries. <laughs> I find that one rather humorous. Um, probably, I think one of her, his most well-known poems, which I decided not to read because of that, is Another Insane Devotion. You might find that one interesting. You know, you might really like that one if if you're interested in looking at other Gerald Stern poems at the moment. But thank you for sharing the Bois et Joie with me today and doing this lovely little video in memory of Gerald Stern today. And I hope that your day goes beautiful. I'm off to a doctor's appointment and... Um, I don't post on this channel, obviously, on a schedule <laughs> for multiple reasons. I'm hoping to get that a little bit, a little bit better anyway than it has been in the last year. 
Um, that's why I ask you to subscribe. I'm not doing it for the algorithm. I'm doing it for your sake so that it, you know, and hit the bell notification so that you will get the notification when I do upload so that you don't miss any because it's not, it's, it's not on the schedule. I do it at weird times. Sometimes I'll upload two or three at a time. Sometimes they'll be months and months apart. It just depends on what's going on in my life at the time. Um, a lot of that has to do with my disability and how my, the ebb and flow of my chronic health issues, right? And also just, you know, other stuff that's going on in my life. Because I've been doing this channel since 2011. And that's a lot of stuff goes on in your life. And, and the, over the course of a decade, right? Um, thank you to my little subscribers who have been with me for the long haul. Um, not very many of you, but, <laughs> you know, poetry is kind of a niche interest. And I am so thankful to have all of you because really it's not about the numbers it's just about sharing the joy and and um thank you for being with me for the whole journey if you haven't of course all the videos are there you can go back and through that through the whole library have tons of fun right and um <laughs> you'll also see me age <laughs> but that's part of it too <laughs> that's part of it too you'll see me change houses and everything <laughs> but i hope you have a fabulous day right uh, at least we have nice sunny weather here today i'm about to go get out in it and as the cherokees say don't and i go hunting till we meet again <laughs>